and keep us from descent into the underworld? Hmm, an excellent question, my sweet little sister. I believe the three of us together could create incredible apocalyptic situations for our female humans. For it is with them the power to survive and to continue their species. In the past, we have provided them with plagues, floods, and witch hunts. Those were nice. What could we throw at them now to help join healing energies and find themselves once again? Weird, we can't kill them all. Otherwise, we'll have to wait for another evolution. Of course not, dearest Skald. We wouldn't want to sabotage their precious future. Cull out the impusents, I say. <laughs> Why don't we let the wickeds decide for us? They'll know how to handle this. Yes. Yes. We can give them... The precious yarns of life to weave humanity's horror story. They can decide their own fate. That's a superb idea. I think we'll need to provide them with a few helpful suggestions to ensure their survival. I like it. What a delicious way to create chaos. The winning disaster will be their ultimate demise. Or their ultimate survival. Each woman has the ability to influence her fate based on what she's experienced in the past. Scald, you are too much of an optimist for me. I hate the smell of rotting snails that the underworld offers. I'm not going back. I'm ready to cut their threads and end their lives. Get rid of the weak ones, I say. Verdandi. How do we find these powerful wicked women to craft a tale of survival in an impossible situation to help fortify the tapestry of their existence? It's quite simple, really. All they have to do is email to www.challenge2013 at gmail.com. And in the body of the email, they can include their name, a short bio of themselves, and a headshot in order to enter the challenge. I'm in a hurry. When do they need to send this in? I don't want to step one foot into the underworld if I don't have to. The smell, it's just, oh, I don't even want to think about it. Oh, we have time, my sisters. But the sooner our wicked women writers submit, the longer they'll have to craft their tales of doom. Official cutoff date for submissions is June 20th. Voters shall decide their fates by October 19th, and we will have our 2013 Most Wicked Woman Writer. She, and only she, will determine how the world brings upon its own apocalypse. And right before All Hallows' Eve, too. How very fitting. Let's make this unusually interesting, shall we? I say we provide the entrance, the disaster, and an inconvenient location. And at least one item to help them out in their horrific situation. We must give them a fighting chance. Indeed. Compelling. Hmm. What if we give them an untimely disability? Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> Life is never convenient. Why should the apocalypse be any different? Agreed? Agreed. Agreed. By, by, by the, the blood, blood of, of we, we three, three. Let, let that release the fears that, that be. be. <laughs> Once again, in order to choose Earth's ultimate demise and to bring the hearts of humanity together once again in peace and love, we need you to send us your name, short bio, and a headshot to www.challenge2013 at gmail.com. Please put 2013, how will you survive, entrant in the subject line. Then, once we have all of our victims... Ahem. You mean entrants? <laughs> yes, right. Entrants, I mean. <clears throat> we will roll the runes to decide who gets what apocalyptic disaster, location, their helpful item, and... Their untimely disability. <laughs> Hurry now. Those who enter will receive their roll of the runes. Then, and only then, will be revealed their apocalyptic situation. Those who dare enter early will have the most time to craft their story. Take care, and good luck. Please survive. We really do not wish to go back down into the underworld. 
nothing kills the smell. Who shall be the most wicked 2013?